Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free the Sheeple Movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. Um, the title of my message today is Denouncing Tribal Bigotry. And it is my reaction to a set of tweets um, that said that mentioned me among some tribal bigots, according to the tweet. You see, if you guys remember clearly, if you guys remember clearly, there was a point where I didn't want to join this political race at all. And I was trolled for it. Oh, Daddy Freeze, why don't you come out and talk? When you are silent, you are encouraging uh all these wicked people you are this you are that you are that so and to be very honest let's be honest with one another tinubu supporters did not troll me for being neutral shore supporters did not troll me for being neutral mogalu supporters did not troll me for being neutral um Atikwa Bubakar supporters did not troll me for being neutral. The same set of people go and look at their tweets. They're always Peter Obi followers. I said, okay, I've looked at all the candidates. I want two things, a youth and change. The person who most appropriately represented that narrative was Omoyele Shoure. I put a call through to him. I had a conversation with him one-on-one. -on -one. Omoyele, tell me why you are running. After having the conversation with Omoyele one-on-one, -on -one, and after listening to Obi, Tinubu, and Atiku, I decided that my choice, uh, JP Paul says you promoted that Lagos is Yoruba only stuff. It caused the tribal hatred to deepen. I said Yoruba, Lagos is Yoruba land. Does not mean, you see, this is, this is the problem I have with your inability to comprehend. You see, JP Paul, the fact that you cannot understand Stand does not mean my what I said is wrong. It means you have a comprehension problem. I'm going to get to that. Don't jump me. Let me finish what I'm saying. I chose Omoyele Shore. Um, and the trolling continued. It just took a new dimension. This conversation of Lagos is Yoruba land or Lagos is Igbo land or Lagos is... It was a conversation. We needed to... Look at somebody, Uzo, Ogazi, Amaka, Daddy Freeze, you're a tribal bigot. Can you see? How come? Hold on. Let's talk about this. When I said Lagos is Yoruba land, why didn't the houses fight me? Are there no houses in Lagos? When I said Lagos is Yoruba land, why didn't the Ishekiris fight me? Why didn't the Benis, who actually have a throne in Lagos, why didn't they fight me? Why is it the same set of people? We have to have this conversation or else we can never go forward. I brought an Itsekiri man. I brought an Itsekiri man, Renu Omokri. Renu Omokri is not Yoruba. Reno Mokri came and had that conversation with me live. As far as I'm concerned, from my understanding of history and geography, Lagos is Yoruba land. But I was clear enough in my video, which I'm going to play for you now. I said the Igbos are welcome. But let's be careful. We cannot go to Kaduna. To go and do certain things in Kaduna. Neither can we go to Anambra 
or or yo and go and do certain things what i said was clear enough and we and we had a conversation about it someone says i hate Igbos. my wife is Igbo. my son is half Igbo. how did you get your brain to descend into these depths of despair i even clearly said Igbos can run for office in lagos very clearly go and watch my sunday sermon i said Igbos can actually run for office now if i said lagos let, let's talk let, let's let's address this if i said lagos is yoruba land is not painting the isekiris is not painting the benins is not painting the aquaibomites is not painting the Calabarians and the Cross Riverites. Is not painting the people from River State. Is not painting the Hausas or the Fulanese. It is only one set of people that have a problem with that statement. And that statement was an opinion. This is my belief historically and geographically and i brought people to have a conversation somebody says come out this live video go and celebrate that obio is back as in as in where do these people hatch out from let's have this conversation someone says Igbos have a lot of investment in lagos so do houses so do Benins and Isekiris. So if I came out and said Lagos is Yoruba land, where did I lie? Where is the problem? Now, if you misconstrued the statement to mean something, listen, let me play my audios for you. I will play three different audios in three different instances. Now you tell me where I was wrong. And if I'm, I was wrong, I'll apologize to you today. Listen to this. In Lagos. Dear Igbos in Lagos, you are safe. You are well. You are loved. You are appreciated. You count. You matter. You are important. You are necessary. Dear Igbos in Lagos, we love you. I'm not a Lagosian, so I can't say we. But Lagos loves you. I am from Osho State. I'm from Osho State. I, I, I located to Lagos in 2001. I jacked back to Lagos. And I've lived in Lagos ever since. But I'm not a Lagosian. But I can tell you for free, Lagos needs Igbo people. Igbo people are at home in Lagos. That's if you are a law-abiding citizen. We need your commerce. We need your trade. We need your wherewithal. We need your high IQ. We need your business acumen. Yeah. We need your dexterity. We need your passion. Evil people, Lagos needs you. In fact, Lagos needs you desperately. Without you, we will not be the first system that we are. If you know an evil person, Tell them that they are loved. Let us not let politics come divide of our love. Over to you, Bumbuli. That day, if you guys remember clearly, mute your mic, mute your mic, they won't hear me. That day, Bongoli said, if you remember that day, Bongoli said um grv should go and contest for election in anambra what did i tell him i cleared him immediately i said no you cannot say that grv the fact that his mother is Igbo does not mean he cannot contest for it if you are patient enough i will look for that audio i have it here and i will play it for you let me look for it and play it for you just give me a second your national TV by discussion. It's all of history. I don't want that. 
I'm looking, I'm scrolling to it. Now, listen to this. Hold on. This is it. The fact that his mother is evil does not disqualify him. Thank you. Please, let me finish. This is very important. The fact that his name is Chinedu or his name is Patrick does not disqualify him. Let us not make him feel less of a Lagosia. His name, um, what's his name? Uh, 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 Vivo. Now those Lagos names, Lucas, Doherty. Now Lagos people. Oh God, what happened? <laughs> has done better. Do we want to talk about... I will look for it again. A mechanical... Sorry. I even said that day, I remember that blessing was here. I said, speaking Yoruba as a governor is an advantage. Not speaking Yoruba should not disqualify you from running for office. So, let me hear our gentleman here. Go ahead, my brother. Unmute, unmute. Me. Yes, clearly, my brother. Go ahead. Mention your name and what country you are calling from. Well done, I thank you. Um, well done, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for having me here. This is my first time that it's raised. And I've been listening to your program, following your program. It's educative, informative, and I'm very thankful for being here today just to add my point. That's what I'm here for. Mm. You know, the thing about this um, tribal thing, it happened down. Um, it's happening in Lagos today, but um, what people don't know that is everywhere. I'm an evil man. I'm from Imo State. Hmm. So, I'm from Imo State. I'm an evil man from Imo State. I was born and brought up in Benin, Eto State. So, hmm. we've seen this even in Eto State. I've seen this even in my workplace. So, when people are coming up with it like this one big thing that has been happening today, no, it didn't start today, that phrase. But what we have to know is that we Nigerians, at the back of our hearts, what we have to know is that we love each other. The tribal thing only comes out when people have interest or something that they have to benefit. They have to benefit from it. And this particular one that has happened today, I'm not going to say much because I'm not on ground. I'm not in Nigeria. So people in Nigeria will definitely have more to say. They know better that, like what has happened. People that have been in the polling unit, people that have been there to vote. So what I'm trying to say here is that it, 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 it was just used by politicians to stir up what they needed to stir up, to make, to get what they needed to get. And that is what I want Nigerians to know. We love ourselves, whether we like it or not. We love ourselves. We, 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 we do business with ourselves. Where I work, I'm, I, I, was, I was the only evil person. When I was in Nigeria, I was the only evil person where I work. I know the pressure I felt, not being a Benin indigenous. I know the things I passed through, but the fact is that when it comes to us as selling and making money, we love each other. And that we love each other. When it comes to us as selling and making money, when it comes to us doing things that benefit each other, we love each other. But when it comes to things that people have selfish interest on, that is when the tribal thing comes to play. And that is what has just happened at the phrase. That is what mm. we're seeing now. The evil people, who from, I followed everything, have never seen a post, I've never seen an Instagram post where an evil person has come out and, and said that, oh, we own Lagos. We are the rightful owner of Lagos. Or we have more of, this, more of this, more of that in Lagos. That the freeze, as I'm here today, I am very, 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 I'm always on social media. I didn't see any of the, that post. Anyone can stand to correct me today. So what I think it is, is just like that thing that has to do with the evil thing, you know. There's one thing about the evils I don't know. Even me as an evil, I don't know. Like when I'm in Benin, when I surface in an environment like this and I tell people that I'm an evil person, the way they start to adjust themselves, like it don't come or evil man don't come. Like they feel, they feel like you come to do something. It's okay, it's okay, my son. They feel like... They feel like you, they feel like you come to take over or do something that you're not supposed to do. You understand? 
or they feel like you want mm -hmm. to come and betray them. They feel like you want to come yes, and outsmart them. They feel like you know more Okay, let me send you the code right here. The problem. But everybody should know this, that an evil man is just like you. There's nothing different mm. from being an evil man, being a Benin man, being a Yoruba man. Mm. You know Mm. I can't even come out and tell anybody that Sorry, brother. Sorry, anybody. brother. I'm expecting a guest, and the guest is at my gate. So let's allow this other brother to talk so that okay. I can round off. All right. Uh, All right. Larry Fritz, can you hear me? Clearly, sir. Good day, sir. No, Good day. My senior brother. Please don't call me, sir. Good, Good day, day, brother. How are you doing? And thanks for adding me to your platform. Uh, okay. For years now, most especially the first time you, uh, I came across your video concerning tights. That is when I started following you. So others why I've been following you, and uh, we thank you once again and your ass food for your time you have dedicated in educating us Nigerians, most especially we Nigerians. I want to use this platform to plead with our people. We know that Nigeria is a divided uh, country with languages, which we know is not new. This story is not new. We know that some, let us be sincere, what some Europeans are doing are wrong, but what some people are also doing are also wrong. Let us be sincere. Mm. Come, there's a saying in PT that says, come follow me, chop, not me, me, you wash and reshape. Mm. Politics or no politics, individually we have our differences. And I will be sincere from Edo State. I normally tell my friends, I respect Yoruba people for one thing that the way they have welcomed other tribes in Nigeria, the only tribe that are close to them is from Edo State. This is my brother here who says he was born and, born and brought up from Edo State. We also agree with me. Yoruba land is the only place you will see other tribes that are billionaires. Other tribes. So if you are not welcome there, how are you able? How will you be able to succeed there? Let me this uh, tribal issue aside. The thing is, if there is good government, there will not all tribe will benefit it. If there is bad government, all tribe is suffering it. All the tribe is suffering it. Even whether it's in Europe here. We are suffering from what Nigerians are going through. What Nigerians are going through, we are suffering it. Most times, we live, we live double life. Because you have to send money to your family and friends. That it is not the same joke as this brother here. It might be in Europe or America. Sometimes they will be saying, who get it for Nigeria? Who follow who did Nigeria never hear? Who did Europe don't hear? Mm. 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 Mm, 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 mm. Okay, bro. Um, like I said, I have a guest. Sorry, I have a guest, so I have to run. I I didn't intend to have a discussion about this. I just wanted to clear something real quick, and I'm going to come back. So let me thank both of you, uh, Sam Official and Humble Black. Humble Black, God bless you. Sam, Thanks. thank you so much. Thank you so much. I want to end with this. I want to end with this. I am not a bigot. My wife is Igbo. My mother-in-law is Delta Igbo. My mother is Romanian. My father is Yoruba. My son is half Igbo, half Yoruba. There is a lot there are lots of tribes that came together not just to make me but to make my family if what i said about lagos being yoruba land was ever misconstrued i apologize for it but i need you to understand that i meant from a geographic and a historical perspective Adding me to that list of um, bigots is unpalatable, unrealistic. It's, it's unfair. This particular election, 
Someone says, condemn FFK's comments. I condemn all hate speech. Any speech that is against the sovereignty of Nigeria, whether it's coming from an Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa, Fulani, from anybody's lips, I stand to condemn it today. Any team that does, any speech, written or verbal, that does not unify Nigeria, I stand against it. Yoruba is, this is my show. This is what I do for a living. We have, someone says, condemn Namdi Kanu. That's a bit hard because Namdi Kanu is fighting for something I... I I leave that to your let me see if my guests are here oh yes my guests are here already so i need to run i condemn anything i condemn anything that is unpatriotic someone says daddy freeze i do not think you are but sometimes your interviews you don't arrive. Car you on top of your car. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Somebody go come open door for you now. I hear your voice from here. I did my room and they come now. <laughs> That's Jigger. He came all the way from France to see me. So let me run and go and see him. Now, let me finish this. Any statement that is unpatriotic. Whether it's from a Yoruba man, from a Hausa man, or from an Igbo man, I stand against it. Currently, right now, I have become apolitical. I'm going back to the fence. I announced it that day. I don't want to have anything to do with politics again. It requires a bit more. Rough play, no, the bomb better picking. I have seen that whatever I have done politically has only made things worse. Now, you need to understand that this is my platform. We talk. Yoruba land, Lagos is Yoruba land. Was a conversation. I did not invite Yorubas to come and talk. I invited Bini people. I invited Isekiri people. I even invited Igbos. This lady, Diary of a Canadian Woman, she's not Yoruba. But she also commented that day. So, please, let us stop this. Stop looking for who to roast. Oh, Daddy Freeze, you are a devil. Oh, Daddy Freeze. No, I love Igbo people. I will post all the comments I have made specifically about Igbo people. And if I said Lagos is Yoruba land, it does not mean Lagos is Yoruba land against the Igbos. It means from my understanding of history and geography, Lagos was placed in a position where it belongs to the Yoruba people. Priye na ijo woman and priye na obi supporter. So anything like hate speech, if I've ever said anything that sounds like it, I apologize. Forgive me. And I hereby remove myself from any form of ethnic bigotry. I denounce any ethnic bigotry from whoever or wherever it is coming from. I apologize. I want us to live together. I want us to love one another. Please, let's keep it that way. God bless you all.